Jim, um, we now have the, uh, we will have the biggest cannabis company wow. as a Tilray and APHA uh, merge in this all stock deal, equity value of almost $4 billion. And we just talked to Boris Jordan yesterday of Curaleaf. Uh, they're going to be uh, sur uh, uh, surpassed in terms of, uh, I think, size, overall size. Look, this market, um, Tilray, 22 million shares. Uh, you, you traded. Uh, look, the younger people, uh, not the institutions, uh, love these stocks. Erwin Simon, over and over again, he's profitable. He talks about that. Grow generation, I like that, but that's a roll-up. Uh, I want people to be careful of these. Uh, Canopy has a lot of money. Be careful because you really need uh, federal legislation to make this thing work. And so far, I don't see Mitch McConnell endorsing it in the Senate, the House they've got. But, David, remember, right now you can't take credit cards. They have to no. do cash. I mean, there's a lot of restrictions on it that make it so that it's not like gambling, which is now in almost every state. Yep, and that's why they still want the federal, to your point, even though state by state they certainly are, uh, even states that, uh, you know, Boris referred to it yesterday as that green wave. You saw all these right. states legalizing. Well, every state, it, it, it's on the ballot, approves yep. it. Until it becomes federal, uh, to your point, especially in terms of things like payment, uh, it, it's it's yet to sort of see its real growth phase that they're all hoping for. No, it's no been pun such intended. a bust. I mean, but, let's just admit it. But, but, yeah, but I mean, remember when drinks. this thing, Jim, remember when this thing, talk about speculation. I mean, it's not as though it hasn't existed in our market prior to this current period. Tilray was, what, 150 bucks at one point? Well, remember, you couldn't borrow a, the stock had because the bar was so expensive. Yeah, an unfortunate run up there because what happened is there was a big short squeeze. But um, And we should point out Erwin Simon ran Hain Celestial. Uh, and, and Afria will actually own 62 percent of the combined company, even though Tilray's is the stock that's being used as the currency here. Yes. Um, they uh, their shareholders own 62 percent. And he's going to run it, Jim. He's going to be CEO of this. Well, I, I had Mark Schiller on recently, who is the CEO of Haines Celestial, which uh, was the company that Irwin uh, did run very capably. And look at that. There's a 52 uh, week high up 3.5 percent. So uh, I think Irwin, oh, well, Irwin's on at 4 o'clock, David. And I think that uh, Irwin is a consumer packaged goods guy and can really do a pretty good job. Canopy, I urge people to look at that one. If you want to do cannabis, Canopy is going to have the equivalent of taste great, no filling, not less filling, no filling. Tell me, David, if you don't want to get a legal buzz, don't drive, but a legal buzz from a THC drink. From Canopy that tastes good uh, sure. and it's legal. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll give that a shot. I'll bring a six-pack I, I think it is important to point out how small these companies are. All right. I mean, the, the pro forma on this thing, U.S. Uh, revenues or total revenues, $865 million U.S. dollars. That's pro forma last 12 months reported by each company. In other words, if they were together. I mean, these are still tiny companies. It's no chewy. No. It's no fastly. No. No. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.